everybody, it's Linda, cross country skiing today in the Gatineau Parks. What did I do? Lots of skiing, lunge and lunge and shake and shake and rattle and roll. So today we've got a little après ski stretch. So let's get out of our gear, put your stuff away, take care of your gear and look at this, here we go. So got a few exercises for us. Lots of great stuff because when we ski, we're working our core, our back, hip flexors into those long, constant lunges. So get rid of your gear and let's get on to our mat. <laughs> Look at this skiing in my workout stuff. So we're going to start with a lower back extension to a forward fold. So I'll show you this one. So let's lift up as if you're holding a big beach ball. Now be respectful of your back bend and you're going to hinge forward at the hips. Come down into a forward fold. Shake your head, roll up. Take your arms back up, baby little back bend. Hinge forward. Yes, creating lots of space into our spine. All the way back up. Let's hold this back bend just for a count of three, two, and one. Hinge all the way back down. Shake your head, no. Now walk your feet a little wider, and as you're walking your feet wider, you're gonna come into a low squat. We wanna open up these hips. Work those glutes. <laughs> All right, let's hang out here for a couple of breaths. Oh yeah, now see if you can sink just a little bit. Maybe close your eyes, pick up those toes. They don't need to hold on to the world. Sink a little deeper. Put a little smile on your face. You were out skiing. Life is good. Oh, yeah. Take a few breaths here. Maybe swallow. Maybe soften everything up. All right. Come down forward onto your knees. Uncurl your toes. And you're going to... Push your glutes down into your heels. Walk your hands forward. We'll come into child's pose. And we're going to breathe here. Let everything soften. Find some stillness. Stretch through that upper back. Use your shoulders a lot by that ski pose going and going. So soften through. Let's walk our hands over to the right side of our mat, keeping the glutes sunk, sink, <laughs> sunk down. And see if you can feel the stretch on the left side of your body. Breathe. Couple more breaths. And walk it slowly over all to the way of the left side, keeping the hips stacked, sink down. Breathe through your, try and breathe through the right side of your body. Let everything soften and let everything melt and let everything go. Couple of breaths here. We'll come back to center. And we'll bring ourselves up if you'd like to engage a little cat cow. And two, but we're not going to be here for very long. We're going to step the left foot forward, come into a little hip flexion here. So press your hips forward and then sink down. Let's bring our arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your arms to cactus arms. So open up the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale up, exhale the cactus, and here we'll fold it. So press into that, getting that nice stretch for that front, the back quad. Opening the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, let's take that over to the other side. So right foot forward, stacking the 
ankle and the knee over top. Press the hips forward, then sink down. This time we're gonna bring the arms up to the sky. Reach down into that front quad. Get some, <laughs> get some stretch there. Bring your arms behind you. You can interlace your fingers. Bring the arms down, chest up towards the sky. Really nice big chest opener, chest stretch, shoulder stretch, quad stretch, hip flexor stretch. All in all, a beautiful stretch. We're gonna hold it for a few breaths. Nice, slowly let go of those fingers. Bring your hands down, kick your foot back, and we're gonna come down lying onto our back. So we're gonna come into a lying butterfly. So keeping the feet flat on the floor, knees bent. We're gonna take the soles of the feet together or not. Find that diamond shape that best suits you today. Bring your arms up overhead. So we're gonna start into a diamond shape and then just start some little pulses into your uh, legs. Maybe bring them up, pulse it back down, pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, and up, take it back down. Now let's hold that. Find some quiet. <sighs> yes, feels good after that big ski I did. All right, let's bring the arms wide into that uh, diamond shape. Bring them back to cactus. Take them up, so a little flossing of those shoulders. Bring it down, opening up through the chest. Bring it up. And bring it down. Let's hold it here. Soften your belly. Soften those inner thighs. Let everything soften. Oh, yeah. All right, let's bring the hands down by the side of the body. Bring the knees up. And let's just give ourselves a little hug here. A little hug. And then we're gonna drop the feet back down. We're gonna go into a figure four. So let's take the right foot to start and bring the right ankle over the left knee. Now using your hand, if you want to use, push into that inner thigh, open up the hip just a tiny bit. We're gonna bring the arms into a T position with the palms up towards the sky. Soften into your shoulders. Now let's just rock, drop the feet over to the left. Lift it back up, drop over to the right. So maybe the knee kisses the earth, maybe it doesn't. So just rock side to side, keeping the shoulders anchored. I gotta do one more, cause I like the rocking. Feels good on my back, feels good on my glutes, feels good in my hips. Then of course we're gonna come back up and let's hold a nice static figure four or a little glute stretch. So hands can be over top of the calf, underneath the knee, Hug it in. Lots of glutes work when you're skiing, cross-country skiing, especially if we're holding that somewhat like a chair pose as we're going down the hills, into the tracks. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, let's take it over to the other side. So, left leg across. Using that right left hand, open into the hip just a tiny bit. And arms back into a T. Let's drop the foot down to the right. Bring it back up, over to the left. Rock. Feel the massage in your back, in your hips. So two, three, three, four, whatever feels good for your body. This is all about feeling. Are we feeling our muscles? Are we connecting to them? And now let's interlace our fingers underneath or over top, whatever feels good to you, and have a nice figure four glute stretch. You know, the small investment of time into these stretching after we do sports is so valuable. It's what keeps us being able to do the things that we love to do. All right, we're 
we're going to come out of that. Hug both knees into your chest. Just a couple more exercises. So I'm going to roll over to one side with the knees bent. I'm going to bring my arms out alongside my body and clasp them together. I'm going to do a shoulder opener. So that top arm is going to come up over top of my head. I'm going to make like a half circle. And as I come around, I'm opening up the shoulders to a nice T. Take my gaze to look over those fingertips. And now let's close it all the way up to reach high up. Shoulders, rotator cuff, everything nice and over. Nice thing up here, one more. Reach, so really reach long. Plus your shoulders, open up your chest. Hang up there. All right, knees up and knees over to the other side. Arm comes over to the other side. And same thing, we drag that arm, big, big half circle, half moon. Open up the chest, open up the shoulders. Nice. And cross we go. Got little Brady doing a tour of the area tonight. One more, reach it all the way up. Oh, yes, and over, hang out here. We're gonna take it all the way back so we close it back up. And then as we close it back up, we're going to roll back onto our tummies. And we're gonna come into sphinx pose. So hands flat on the ground, forearms, palms down, elbows underneath your shoulders. Now press into your mat. So the tailbone and the hip points are staying down towards the ground. Nice stretch for the lower back, so pressing into the hands, pressing into the elbows. Hold it for about 30 seconds. If it's too intense, come down a little bit and you can reset, find that sweet spot. And bring it back down. Then walk your hands underneath your shoulders, push yourself back. Up, one more child's pose. So sink those heels into your glutes, reach the arms long. Get a nice big stretch for the upper back and the shoulders. Into the glutes. Hang out there for as long as you like and hope to see you on the trails. Happy skiing! <laughs>